In my free time, I often go to the terrace of my house and sit there. I frequently either listen to songs or watch a movie on Netflix. However, I can't fully enjoy it because the sound from my cell phone is not loud enough. I also don't prefer using headphones because they could cause ear infections. I already have a powerful amplifier system but I can't take it to the terrace and I can't take it camping either. So I thought why not to make myself a very simple Bluetooth speaker because I already have the required components like the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and as you know it supports I2S audio outputs. I2S stands for Inter IC Sound or Integrated Interchip Sound is a digital audio interface standard used for transmitting digital audio data between integrated circuits in electronic devices. It is commonly used in applications such as audio codecs, digital signal processors and microcontrollers for processing and transmitting audio signals. I also have this digital amplifier based on the Max 98357 I2S Class D amplifier and this 3 watt and 8 ohm speaker. So for this project you only need these three components an ESP32 board, an amplifier module and a speaker. So without any further delay, let's get started. This I2S digital amplifier is based on the Max 98357 I2S Class D amplifier module offering exceptional compatibility with microcontrollers equipped with I2S audio outputs such as the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. It can be used in projects like IoT nodes, smart home devices, Bluetooth audio players and so on. It features a PH2.0 connector and stamped holes for seamless speaker connections enhancing its adaptability and user friendliness. All the pins are clearly labeled and for the pins description you can read my article available on electronicclinic.com. These are some of the features and specifications. It's a 3 watt and 8 ohm speaker with JST PH2.0 interface which nicely plugs into the PH2.0 connector. It is perfect for any DIY audio project which requires an 8 ohm impedance and 3 watt power. And these are some of the specifications. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the MAX 98357 amplifier module to the ESP32 3.3V and ground pins. Connect LRC pin to the GPIO26 on the ESP32. Connect BCLK to the GPIO27. Connect DIN to GPIO25. Connect your speaker plus and minus wires to the amplifier module speaker plus and speaker minus pins. In my case, I'm using the PH2.0 connector. You can follow this circuit diagram. Next, you will need to upload this program into your ESP32 board, but first you will need to add this library in the Arduino IDE. For this, simply go to the sketch menu, then to include library, and click on the add.zip library. Browse to the location and select this library, which you can download from our website and press the open button. You can see the library has been added. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the ESP32 based Bluetooth speaker in action. To power this Bluetooth speaker system, you can use a single cell lithium ion battery. You can also use a power bank which you can connect through this micro USB port. But in my case, I'm going to use my created for its lithium ion battery pack and I'm not worried about the voltage is my ESP32 development board already has this 5 volt regulator based on the 705 voltage regulator. So let's go ahead and power up the Bluetooth speaker system. Now all I need is to connect my cell phone to the Bluetooth speaker and that's it.
no DNA in his. All three came back identical. Not close, identical. Once upon a time. Any of this ringing true? Keeps track of the units. So from here, I can calculate how much electricity I have used. You can see this energy meter is installed outside the house. And when I'm at home, I have no idea when and how much load is there. And most... I'm quite impressed with the sound quality. And the wireless range is around 8 meters, which is more than enough for me. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.